looking specifically at greenways and waterways in Toronto's Don Valley and we're looking at how people can use those corridors to move north and south through the city uh, in ways that really parallel uh, historic trajectories down the water. For the last thousands of years we've been very uh, human privileged and now we're kind of re-examining uh, the, the, the parkway as being nature privileged and somehow humans as being integrated uh, or a part of that bigger context. We're dealing with our, our changing perception again of, of water, our relationship to water, but also to the green spaces of the city. There are spaces that we need to connect again with. This challenge allows us to look at ways to move through the waterways and uh, it's no longer just the gutter, it's now a life force again. Phasing out the, the Don uh, Valley Expressway, introduce busing lanes, reducing the car lanes, improving bicycle routes, pedestrian routes, other kind of ways of accessing and moving through the valley rather than cars. What we did is to really think of humans as a subset of nature instead of the two as warring factions. And when we came to that conclusion, it really allowed us to move, um, to move past the argument and um, consider the ways in which the movement through um, an ecological corridor could actually help reestablish some ecologies, layer on program uh, that was as much about feeding the biodiversity in the system as it was about allowing people to transit from point A to point B.